Man, if you thought his set was dirty. <laughs> I mean, this is not even an R rating. This is NC-17, my friends. Um, yeah, so like you said, my name is Felicia. Um, people call me Fifi. Or if you're my dad, that's right, Fifi. Or if my, you're my dad, you call me a fucking bitch. So. <laughs> Um, I actually did a, I did stand up at the drag show here last week, which was phenomenal if you were not there. That's right, Helga knows. Um, I had a guy come up to me after, this week after doing that show, and he was like, hey, you're that comedian who told all those jokes about eating pussy. And I was like, no, dude, I think you're just hungry. <laughs> but we are what we eat, so I'm not very good at making friends. Uh. <laughs> Um, I met up with a guy off of Tinder one time, and when I got there, he told me I looked like Miss Piggy Dominatrix. Yeah, so I crushed his head with my thighs and charged him $100, and <laughs> paying for me and my mom's drinks tonight. <laughs> I don't really think I'm fat necessarily. I like to think about it as being the perfect size to make into a human flesh coat. Um, we've all seen Dahmer, right? So I feel like the physics of this size are like really good for making an awesome um, jacket for a formal. Um, I have really nice tattoos and I think they should be used for that. I've actually been trying to lose weight. Um, somebody recommended this. You know, because I want my tits to look bigger, man. That's uh, <laughs> If my stomach is smaller, my tits and ass look better. So... <laughs> Uh, trying to get attention. Um, but you know, uh, people recommended intermittent fasting to me, which is like not eating for a long time and then eating for, you know, a few hours. Um, when I was growing up, that was called poverty. So I am, I've been practicing intermittent fasting for decades and I just don't think it's helping me very much. But I, um, I really have, I, had, I've, I think we all have a bad, been a fucked up couple of years and uh, you know, I've been trying to get back into the gym and get into therapy and uh, I think therapy is really starting to work because uh, now instead of being disgusted with how I look I'm just disgusted with who I am as a person and I'm like <laughs> man I could drink that away that's like not a problem at all for me <laughs> is everybody having a good week I mean you guys are here so this has either been a really bad decision for you or a really good decision for you. Um, I love you, man. I love all of you guys. Thank you so much. Um, my dad actually had a heart attack this week. Um, and it's weird because like I'm not close with my dad. Like I haven't spoken to my dad in five years. And um, my mom was like, you know, you really need to call your dad and make sure he's not half dead. But uh, luckily he texted me so I know he's half alive. And that's called optimism, my friends. <laughs> The glass is half full. And if the glass is half full of Jameson, it's even better. In fact, much preferred. <laughs> um, I had a pretty cool first, though, this week to kind of make up for that. Um, any gun fans in here? I don't mean that in a shitty way. Woo! Bullets! That's okay. You don't have to be. Um, but, uh, yeah, I actually held a gun for the first time this week. Yeah, a lot heavier in my mouth than I thought it was going to be. So... <laughs> That was a lot. I do have something to look forward to. The holidays are coming up, right? And I love this time of year. It's a lot of different holidays. It's not just Christmas. Although I think what I like best about Christmas is Santa Claus. Because Christmas is the one time of year when we all get together to just be super fucking horny for the same fat white guy. Because like, think about it. Uh, Christmas is all about sex. Sex. And like, um, coming. You know, and there's that, there's that song, um, Santa Daddy, bend me up over your knee, spank me, or like whatever the words are. <laughs> Something fucking horny. Um, I'm not very religious, but uh, like I don't pray or anything, but um, sometimes I do ask my brother to do um, shit with his ghost powers, like haunt people in their dreams for two years. He's a smart dude. I'm sure he's figured it out by now. <laughs> what the fuck else is he doing? <laughs> I feel like he left me at this lame-ass party. It's the least he can do. <laughs> but he's like, your brother's dead. That's really sad. 
I guess. I know it is. It's horrible. Um, so like I said, I'm a chef. I'm actually a chef here in town, and I have been for, I don't know, 16, 17 years. That's right. You have probably all eaten my food, and you have no idea. You, some of you guys are old and white. Remember? Y'all members of Swagataha? my blood. Um, it's not witch magic, I promise. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh yeah, I do make good corn chips. It's my blood also. Um, one interesting thing about being a chef though is that my hands kind of always smell like uh, garlic and onions. So whenever I uh, try to jack my boyfriend off, it smells like beef stew. <laughs> Which is like, it kind of smells like my grandma's house, but like without the cigarette smoke. I like cigarettes. Hey, man. Light, light up, bud. Fuck, uh, <laughs> fuck it. Uh, <laughs> so, um, you know, I don't really identify as like gay or straight or bisexual or anything like that because uh, it seems like no matter who I date, ultimately I end up fucking myself uh, in the end. So, whatever self fucker, whatever that is, that is what I identify as. I'm sure a lot of you also understand that one. Uh, <laughs> I um, but I, you know, I'm, I'm pretty open-minded. I really am when it comes to dating. Like gender does not mean shit to me. It really I'm trying to fuck. I'm trying to fuck. That's it. Um, but I think I learned that from living in the Midwest my whole life because you know people don't give us credit. We're pretty open-minded here. This is the first place I learned about the three genders: soybeans, corn, and pork. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Hey, I like them all. <laughs> you know, give me some corn chowder with a bacon and an edamame. Like that's <laughs> really perfect for me. Um, I used to be, you know, I'm older now. I'm like I'm in my, I'm in my mid thirties now, and I used to be like such a petty person when I was younger. Um, you know, I very much lived by that like fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, and motherfucker, I'm gonna break into your house and I'm gonna hide in your closet. And as soon as you get out of the shower and you're least expecting it, I'm gonna jump out of your fucking closet and I'm going to attack you because I just feel like you should have texted me back by now. <laughs> and I don't think that that's high maintenance. I can see how that can be misconstrued in that, but I think that's healthy communication. And uh, that's all we've got. But you know, I really don't, um, as I get older, I don't believe in telling people to like fuck off or go to hell. That just, it just means nothing. People forget about that minutes later. What I believe in is being the hell you want to see in people's lives. If you terrorize somebody for the next 20 years, they fucking die remembering that. They die with your name on their lips. And if that's all you have in this life, your fucking job sucks, at least you terrorize someone to death. And we'll have great time in hell together. That person will be there too and they'll be running from me the whole time. <laughs> We're gonna be so buff. <laughs> Um, you know, it's like I, I, had a, I had a bad breakup a couple of years ago, and you know, with COVID and everything, um, I started doing some online dating, which is great because it makes you feel both better and worse about yourself. It's just like, oh man, this is all that's out there, I'm better than that, but like, also, those are the only people that want to fuck you. <laughs> it's guys holding fish, that's it. Um, and girls who have babies by guy holding fish, and that's it. Um, and now that I'm in my 30s, really the only people that are available are dudes that want to meet like um, at 3 a.m. in the middle of the woods where no one can hear me scream. <laughs> it's been a bad year. I kind of not care about it that much. <laughs> it's still a better choice than the fish guys. I just, uh, somehow, it is better. Because dudes are weird, man. Like, dudes are, I'm oh, sorry, dudes are weird. Um, like they have these things, like I'm sure we all have a nice box of like wet wipes in our bathroom. Well, they have these things called dude wipes. And I assume they're scented like beer or pretzels or some shit. Because you know if you're a guy and you wipe your ass with a lavender scented diaper wipe, it turns your asshole into a vagina. <laughs> so I'm glad we have our best scientists working on this one. Uh, I'm actually in a, I actually am in a really healthy relationship right now, despite what I say. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy being in a healthy relationship. Um, my current boyfriend says things like, what you're feeling is valid. And like, it's so, like, that's okay, dude. I support you. Um, whereas like my ex is in prison for saying shit like, it's okay that you're under 18. <laughs> 
I wish I was joking. He is in prison. I wish he'd kill himself, but I don't know how to make him do that. I think they keep editing my letters. Um, they keep blacking out that part. Um, I'm actually moving to Florida at the end of January. This is not a joke. It sounds like it, but I am choosing to move to Florida at the end of January. Thank you. See, I got like my mom and my friends are here, so they're really happy about it. They are not happy. I'm going to Orlando. Okay. That's right. You see, you're gonna have to come down and get this fucking drunk with me, dude. <laughs> I want to be this blackout drunk. Um, but no, it's like people ask me if I'm worried to move to Florida. And I just kind of motion, I mean, we live in Galesburg. <laughs> like, uh, have I ever seen a PCP zombie? No, but I've seen a meth goblin at Casey's. And I feel like that's a really close runner up. I'm not really scared of alligators, because one time when I was at the Circle K to get a Polar Pop, two pit bulls and a chihuahua all chained together chased me into my car and I didn't drop my soda. <laughs> So I feel like I'm good. I forgot to get sticks. I had to go back in, but I think I'm gonna be pretty good. <laughs> no, my uh, my new boyfriend's a nice guy. I know, gross. Nobody applauded that. They're like fucking loser. <laughs> like your boyfriend is a small dick and he cries. <laughs> like he cries, but he has a huge dick. It's horrible. I also cry. Uh, <laughs> Um, for Christmas, this, this for our first anniversary, not even Christmas, God, it hasn't happened yet. Our uh, anniversary was in August, and I got him a mood cock ring. Um, and the first time he put it on, it was blue, and I wasn't sure what that meant, and then the next time he put it on, it was red, and I guess um, all the colors just mean horny. So, <laughs> it's really horny all the time. <laughs> I guess I didn't realize. Um, but, you know, ultimately, I try to live with no regrets. Um, if I had to say I had one regret, it would be eating two uh, Coney dogs from Coney Island with the works and then throwing them up onto somebody's genitals. Um, that would be my one regret. But Coney Island's been open for a hundred years and I don't feel like I'm the first or last person to do that. So. <laughs> it's a Galesburg tradition. Throw the Coney dogs up onto a dick or pussy or an asshole. It's the same as it coming out. <laughs> Um, and my mom's here tonight. <laughs> I'm not even joking, she's right over there. Um, she has to listen to all this shit, unfortunately. Um, but uh, my mom's really cool. You know, I was over at her house for the holidays. I spent a lot of time with her. Um, over th I'm a chef, so at Thanksgiving, you know, she calls me to the kitchen. She's like, you know, needs some help. And uh, I get out there, and within seconds, this bitch elbows me right in the face. She's like, oh, I'm sorry, that was an accident. My mom is a liar and an asshole. Um, <laughs> intentional. Yeah, fuck you, mom. Everybody applaud. <laughs> fuck you, you <stutter> bitch. <laughs> um, no, my mom's a really thoughtful person. She never hit me and my brother. I hate her. Right? She's right there, man. She's super cool. She's gonna beat your ass. Um, my mom never hit me, though, uh, anywhere where DCFS could see the bruises, so that was... <laughs> that's called being a mindful parent. Um, we should all practice mindfulness. So I'm in my middle 30s, which means it's everybody's business uh, that I don't have kids. Right? Everybody's all the same bullshit. It's like, why don't you have kids? When are you going to have kids? Don't you like kids? And it used to offend me because I feel like this is a really personal question. It's nobody's fucking business, right? So then I finally started telling people the truth. I used to have kids. But then people touched them and they got their scent on them and I had to eat them. <laughs> Now my grandma doesn't really like to ask questions at Christmas. I mean, cause she's dead, but also, fuck her. <laughs> I really don't think I would be a responsible person. Like I'm not, I'm not somebody who should have kids. I had to go to the ER recently. Why? Cause I was shitting blood. Except then I remembered all I'd had for three days was Vegas bombs and red popsicles, which was a good 4th of July but just a hallmark of bad life choices, so. <laughs>
the kids like orange popsicles, we can split them. I'm also, I love to smoke weed, also. Hell yeah! Who else, like, I, I know only like three people are plotting weed, but like, <laughs> I see you guys. My best friend's a bud tender, I know you all go there. I'm too, I'm, I'm too high to clap. <laughs> yeah, I'm too high to clap, man, or 500 milligram gummy. <laughs> Um, but no, I know I'm not responsible. Like, I hate to fit those, like, stoner stereotypes of, like, stoners are idiots. But, um, the other day I was going to get some snacks, and I was pretty sure I found a butt of weed on the floor, right? So I go to pick it up, and it was a spider. <laughs> and you're like, but she didn't smoke the spider. Now remember when I said I was petty? So the spider bit me, and I feel like the only option at that point was to smoke the spider. <laughs> I like to assert my dominance, whether it's by crushing your head or by smoking in a bowl. <laughs> I didn't get high, but I did, I did feel a little like a piece of shit. <laughs> I also, uh, I think another reason I don't want kids is that I have spent, um, my, my last boyfriend and I broke up because he overdosed on heroin. And the boyfriend I had before that um, would drink all the half-empty beers left over from the party the night before. So I guess what I'm saying is most of the adults in my life are pieces of shit. And if I have to raise them, what the fuck am I going to do with a child? <laughs> I can't give them a PBR to shut them up. I mean, I could give them a PBR to shut them up. I feel like DCFS is going to be in my house. Um, I feel like family's not really sacred anymore, though. I feel like that's kind of where we're at. Like, family is not sacred anymore. Um, I feel like one big indication of that is how much incest porn there is on the internet. Um, <laughs> it's a lot of like old men and young women, which I think is especially disturbing because you know he starts to get turned on and it's like, <laughs> it's like a ghost, and, which is eerie in and of itself. And then um, you unzip his fly and, that's, and then all these like bats fly out. <laughs> And then he's like, I would have gotten an erection too if it weren't for this damn dysfunction. And uh, and now we're watching Scooby Doo. <laughs> this is just doesn't turn me on that much. Uh, I do like some dirty shit though. I like dirty talk. Um, I'm pretty cool with it to a point. Um, I had a guy tell me one time that he hoped I was tight like a 12 year old. Right? That's fucked up. I think it's fucking disgusting. That person should probably be in prison. Um, I posted that on Facebook and everybody was like, oh my God, this guy's a fucking monster. I made that up. I wrote it. Um, I said it. I'm the monster. Um, <laughs> I am the fucked up person. I am in therapy. I didn't tell her that. I feel like you get institutionalized for shit like that. <laughs> Um, no, you know, because my boyfriend and I are in a long-distance relationship. He lives in Orlando, like I said. Um, so, you know, one of those things to kind of get through that is, uh, you know, I got myself a vibrator. Which is great. High recommend. 10 out of 10. Every hole's a goal with a vibrator. It is a lot of fun. Um, but, you know, it gets, it gets boring. It's kind of impersonal. You know, there's like, it's not, it's just a thing. So, uh, I decided to just put googly eyes on it. Make it a little more personable, you know? Uh, but then I started getting motion sick. Because I'm like trying to jack off and she's like... <laughs> so uh, what I did instead was put a pair of sunglasses on and a Cubs hat. Now it looks like every other dude I've ever fucked in Galesburg. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for your time. Have a great night. <laughs>